All right, guys, so I'm here at Victoria House, is it? Um, big hall in the center of Leeds for the Retro Collect uh, video game market. Um, yeah, really cool event. Uh, all retro stockists get together under one roof and um, sell their wares at slightly inflated prices. You're not going to get too many bargains here, although most of the stalls are up for bartering, so I've done a little bit of that. Um, yeah, I've got some stuff here, so I'm going to show you my pickups, I guess. Uh, this building is awesome I'm sure I've been here before but look at this it's huge I'm not sure you're gonna get a sense of the scale here on the camera but uh, some Sistine Chapel type shit going on in the ceiling and a huge organ looking structure here which I will try and show you but I'm right next to it so you're not gonna get the benefit of that but uh, yeah, the Retro Collect uh, video game market, it was really full earlier on, it's thinned out a lot now, and uh, yeah, got some stuff. Uh, let me show you what I've got. Right, first of all, I've got uh, Dancing Stage Universe 2 for the 360. The guy said it's quite rare to find a uh, dance mat game on 360. I believed him. Whether that's true or not, I do not know. But I got it for five quid. He wanted eight, I got him down to five. So not bad for a dancing. Yeah, I like dance mat games. What? And what? What are you going to do? I like dance mat games, they're fun. Uh, five quid for that, pretty happy with that. Um, right, I brought a bunch of stuff in. So the first few things that I got here, I didn't even pay any money for. I just um, traded some stuff in that I didn't want, uh, had no use for. So thank you to Adam Korolik. Those Japanese satin games finally came in handy. I've traded them for some things that I can use. Uh, so cheers, Adam. Uh, the first thing that I traded those in for was Micro Machines Military on the Mega Drive there. I've uh, been trying to get that for a while. This is a cool Micro Machines game with added kind of uh, battle elements to it. And it is the J Cart. It's got the J Cart there, so you can have four players simultaneous without, uh, without a multi tap or whatever. So, yeah, pretty unique thing. Uh, Micro Machines Military, really fun game. Happy to have that. Um, another game for the Mega Drive that I got on this trade in of useless <laughs> import stuff that I could not use. Not useless, useless to me. For I have no. Japanese satin. Anyway, I got uh, Bloodshot. Bloodshot on the Mega Drive, that's kind of like a Doom style corridor shooter, uh, so I'm intrigued to see what that is like. It quite, looks quite fun, uh, Bloodshot. It's just uh, pretty cool to see the Mega Drive being able to do that kind of uh, pseudo 3D rendering going on. It's, yeah, pretty sweet. Um, what else have we got here? Ah, yes. Now, I did pay for this uh, via PayPal because I was woefully unprepared and didn't bring any cash out, but a lot of the stalls uh, took PayPal. So uh, for five, well, it wasn't enough, eight pounds, for eight pounds, I got a SNES power lead. Now, I don't even own a SNES. This is for my Virtual Boy. Uh, the Virtual Boy runs on six batteries and it eats them up, or it can run on a SNES power lead. So finally got one of those, bought one of those. Uh, pretty happy to have that because I do love my Virtual Boy. So that's that. Um, Right, what else have I got here? Right, then I got a little bit carried away. So that's all the stuff, well, most of that's trading stuff. Then I got a little bit carried away. Um, bought some stuff, uh, yeah. Well, th this isn't too bad, this isn't too extravagant. I'll show you. For six quid, I got Evil Twin on the PlayStation 2. Uh, not supposed to be a great game, but it's, it looks quite quite uh, individual. Looks like it's got quite a lot of character, quite a lot of... Um, but it just looks intriguing to me. Uh, you know, Evil Twin. Now on the Dreamcast, that it goes for quite a lot. Uh, I wasn't willing to pay what it goes for on Dreamcast, so happy to have it on the PS2 to check it out for three quid. Uh, and the other one was a sealed, not that, I, not that I care about that, sealed copy of Aeon Flux on the original Xbox. And um, yeah, it, looks, it says it's like kind of stealth aspects to it, so I really do like stealth games. So Aeon Flux for three quid on the original Xbox. Happy to get that and uh, we shall see if that's any good. Then, then I got really carried away. Okay, there was a stall that had some PlayStation 2 games. Lots of stalls here have PlayStation 2 games. This stall in particular had a load of uh, RPG style uh, type games on the PS2. So, I got the following games. You wanted 45, I got him all the way down to 43. I tried 40, he wouldn't go for it. I had a rush of blood to the head. I agreed at 43 quid for the following four games. Probably paid a little bit over what I could have got him if I'd been patient on the old Fleabay. But 
there's something exciting about picking games up in person from real people when it's right in front of you. It just it's get carried away more than I do on eBay. I have more self-restraint on eBay than I do when it's in person. So for 43 quid, we got uh, Shadow Hearts. Shadow Hearts there on the PS2. Complete, good Nick. Project Zero 3. Love Project Zero games. Got the first two on the original Xbox. They don't have the third one on the original Xbox, so I had to get it on PS2. I was going to get it eventually. So Project Zero 3. Ghost in the Shell. Standalone complex. I have no idea if this game is any good, but Ghost in the Shell is an awesome a manga. So if it's, uh, you know, if, if it's as interesting as the manga film, then this is going to be a pretty sweet game. Ghost in the Shell standalone complex with the uh, slip cover. And last, I got this uh, Kia Dark Lineage, which I know nothing about. I basically bought this because on the back it says that, uh, what does it say? Uh, free fall into extreme action is Kaya, a woman on a quest against oppression. I thought my girlfriend might like that. Uh, she's into the whole, uh, you know, feminism thing. I don't think this is probably nothing to do with feminism. It's that a woman in a fight uh, against oppression. But anyway, it looks quite cool from the screenshots. It might be a bag of shit. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, so 43 quid for those four games. Um, you tell me. I don't know if that's a, a complete ripoff or not. Maybe it is, but it was fun picking stuff up at the Retro Collective Video Game Fair in Leeds, here at Victoria Market Square thing, hall, whatever it is, but have a look. Can we see Tootie? And could they, say, could they see me sat up here like a plum, making a video, talking to myself? Everyone's going to think I'm a complete nut job. But guess how much I care? I don't. Anyway, that's it. Yeah, alright. See you guys in the next video. Bye bye.